All right, AP, uh, let's take another look at a, a sample problem uh, using unit conversions, but we're going to add a, yet another wrinkle. This wrinkle right here. There are two different units there. Okay, that is miles per hour. So we have distance and time. Now, hopefully, those of you who have taken physics uh, got a little extra... Um, extra practice with this it won't be uh, too bad but we better go over it anyway what is the number uh, that would be posted in kilometers per hour so go ahead and generate your response press pause if you need to because here comes the solution <clears throat> and so we are still going to be using our factor label method, our crosshairs, our regular unit conversion system, because that's the only way you can change between uh, different units and not uh, affect the value. So we have 55 miles per one hour. We are going to convert the miles into yards so that we can convert the yards into meters and then the meters into into kilometers. Very similar to what we did in simple problem 1.62. We're just going the other way. But what's happening is this extra unit is going to come along for the entire ride and we're not actually going to change it right now. Now that might seem simple, but it throws a lot of students uh, uh, for a loop here. So uh, the only thing that's changing here is the unit on the distance. Yeah, the distance unit. So notice at the very end, we still have a per hour. When we started with a per hour. The only thing that will have changed is the miles are now kilometers. Okay. Um, again, we have to know certain conversion factors. For example, uh, for every one mile, there are 1,760 yards, uh, 1.094 yards in a meter. Uh, those will get easier and easier to remember as we go, but those are the only facts that you need to know. Aside from that, we're simply using our factor label method.